Hi guys, welcome to Villa Molino Cookery Club. It's Easter Saturday and I know you're all at home, you're all cooked up at home, so I've got a really easy and a really tasty recipe that the whole family can enjoy, the whole family can participate. Get your kids, go and call the kids, tell them to watch this video, they're gonna love it. What are we gonna do? We're gonna do chicken wrap. We're gonna use a wrap today. Not a wrap as in yo-yo wrap, a wrap as in a tortilla wrap. So we're going to do a nice wrap with pan fried chicken seasoned with a beautiful barbecue seasoning. This one is really, really good. It's a um, Schwartz classic barbecue seasoning. Very good. Not too salty, not too spicy. Very good. Let me hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. I'm going to show you what we can put in the wrap. Now we've got an, an arrangement of um, ingredients here. I'm not going to use them all, but I'm just going to show you so you can pick and choose what you want. So we've got the salad. Use baby leaf salad because it rolls easier. Don't use crispy salad, use baby leaf salad. It rolls easier. What have we got? We've got grated cheddar cheese. Very nice, finely grated cheddar cheese. Don't buy the pre-grated one, guys. Just uh, grate it yourself, come on. Okay, what have we got? We've got Sweet pepper, sliced sweet pepper. Look at the slice on that. Is that what you call professional or what? Professional sliced red pepper. Okay, we've got nice avocado. Sliced avocado. Another possibility, some basil and some sliced mozzarella if you want that Italian twist in your wrap. So what have we got? We've got sliced red onions, very nice sliced red onions if you want that. Fajita, fajita taste. We've got sliced gherkins, very nice. Thinly sliced gherkins. We've got sliced spring onions, another option. We've got uh, sliced fennel, this is very good. Gives it a nice little Italian kick and very crunchy, very nice. Sliced fennel, very, very nice. I'm gonna put the pan on here because we're gonna go live. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go live. We're not gonna cut out, we're gonna go live. Okay, so. I've got my lovely garlic mayonnaise, which is alioli. Go back four days, five days, I did the recipe. Garlic mayonnaise, alioli, very, very nice. Sliced cucumber, ladies and gentlemen. Sliced green olives, sliced black olives. No, I didn't buy them already sliced. I sliced them myself. These are nice green olives, pitted. And these are kalamata olives, very, very good. Sliced baby plum tomatoes. Don't use the big tomatoes because when you slice them, you just get water. Baby plum tomatoes, look, I sliced them. No water in the bowl, no water in the bowl, completely dry, look at that. Beautiful sliced baby plum tomatoes. Right, what have we got? We have some sliced sun-dried tomatoes, give it that Mediterranean flavor, sliced sun-dried tomatoes. You don't have to use all the ingredients, you can just pick and choose. These are very nice, these are pepper dew peppers. It's kind of sweet and sour, sweet and hot. They're very, very good, very good. We, we, we do a pizza with this at the Mario, with the chorizo, and the pizza is flying out the door. Uh, pepper dew peppers, very nice. Sliced cucumber, we got all that. Right, first we got the chicken. What do we do with the chicken? We have the chicken breast. We cut it into wor I call it worms. I call it worms. Look at that. It's a worm. Look. We take the chicken, we slice it, and then we cut it in uh, kind of julienne or baton. Baton. Look. I, you can call it worms. Look. Okay. Right. So what do we do with this? We put the Schwartz Classic Barbecue seasoning. It's not spicy. It's not chilly. It's not salty. Right. We give that a little toss in the barbecue seasoning. I think we can use a little bit more. Barbecue seasoning, then we want the olive oil. Now we want a really hot pan for this, so I've got it on number 10 now, I've got it maximum heat. Number 10. Right, so, olive oil and barbecue seasoning on chicken breast worms. Right, here we go. What are we, what are we listening for when the chicken goes in the pan? What are we listening for? Sizzle, sizzle. Right, a bit of olive oil. Right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Sizzle, sizzle. 
Look at that. This is, I'm going to do this live, no cutting out. Live, live, ladies and gentlemen, this is live. This is live, ladies and gentlemen. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to put the other pan here. Just going to warm this up. Minimum heat number one. Look at that. Oh. Smells like a Texas barbecue. Oh, that's going to be ready in like one minute. Another sauce you can put on the wrap is very nice. Nando's peri peri sauce, very good. Spread it on the wrap. Sweet chili dip, sweet chili dipping sauce, very good, very good. Look at that, look at that. 30 seconds to go, ladies and gentlemen. 30 seconds. This is just coming up to going to be to warm the tortilla. Are you counting? Are you counting? Look at that, look at that. Sizzle, 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 that's what you want. It's ready. It's ready, what do you know? What do you know? Three. Look at that. Pan fried chicken worms. Here we go. Look at that, look at that. Can you see that? That is the chicken for the wrap. So what are we gonna do? What are we gonna do, ladies and gentlemen? We have just a minimum heat, number one. We have one wrap. One wrap, tortilla wrap. Soft tortilla wrap. They sell it in Tesco's, they sell it most expensive, they sell it everywhere. Right, what am I gonna do, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna put some garlic mayonnaise. I'm gonna put some garlic mayonnaise. Lovely. I'm gonna put some, uh, some baby leaf salad. Baby leaf salad. This is super healthy, the kids will love it, they make their own wrap. They put their own ingredients, the cheese, the avocado, the sweet pepper, whatever they want. I like my pickled gherkins. I'm gonna put my pickled gherkins. I like my, my uh, red onions. I like my uh, avocado. Avocado. Look at the color, look at the color coming through. Red, green, beautiful. My cherry, uh, sliced plum tomatoes. Look at that. Look at that. Don't overload it, please. Don't overload it. Less is more. Have a, make two different ones. Don't put everything in one go. So what are we doing? We put the chicken. We put the chicken. It's nice and warm. The pan is warm. We put the chicken. And I like a bit of Nando's. Nando's Peri Peri. Look at that. That's enough. That's enough, ladies and gentlemen. That's enough. Right, so we put the chicken away. Then, I'm going to show you, I'm going to cut the wrap, I'm going to show you what the wrap looks like. Right, so then we just roll it, we just roll it, look at that. We just roll it like that. There you go, it's ready, warm, take the pan off the heat. Now, you want to do the chefy thing, we do the chefy thing. Look at that, look at that. Look at that. Look, 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 look at that. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? Ha. That is fresh. Fresh chicken breast. No skin, no fat. The fajitas, the fajitas you get in TG Friday or TG Thursday, swimming in oil. You don't want that. This is fresh. Look, no oil. There's no oil in the pan. It's fresh. It's fresh, it's healthy. Get the kids involved, the kids will love it. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I gotta go because I'm gonna eat this. See you tomorrow and have a happy Easter.